Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 17th Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at nav bars. <laughs> Alright in campus, so we are looking at the code right here that we did in the last tutorial where we looked at nav tabs and nav pills and that gives us something like this, a nice little navigation system. Now this is really cool and uh, I typically use it for kind of sub navigations on my website but I wouldn't necessarily use it for the main navigation at the top of my website. For that, there's something a little bit better. So I'm gonna show you that today. And uh, what we wanna do first of all is take off these classes, nav tabs and nav justified. But we're gonna keep this class right here, this nav class, because that's kind of like a universal class that we apply to any kind of navigation UL, all right? So that all stays the same. But what I wanna do now is give this UL a different class. And the class that I'm gonna give it is navbar hyphen nav. Okay, so that's the UL done. Now what we need to do is nest this inside of a nav element. So we'll do that. And this nav element is just a HTML5 element, makes navigations a little bit more semantic. So we'll do that and uh, zoom this in. And we also need to apply a class or two to this nav element as well. So we'll just do that. Now the first class I wanna give this is just navbar. And then the second class I want to give this is either navbar default or navbar inverse, depending on how you want the navbar to look. Now I'll start off and I'll show you navbar inverse. That's just kind of like a dark color, so it inverses the colors. Should have shown you default really to begin with. But I'll show you that now. And that's the color of this. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it with default for now. And I know there's a lot of classes here, guys, to get your head around when you take into account the ones we covered in the last tutorial as well. It is really just a case of either memorizing them or just heading over to the Bootstrap documentation whenever you want to look something up. It only takes five seconds. All right, so once we have done that, we can leave it there if we like. But if we take a look at this, I typically like my top navigations to stretch all the way across from left to right and not to have this little gap at the top, okay? Now, the reason it's doing all this and it's keeping central is because we've got it in a central container in this div right here. So what we need to do to get rid of that is take it out of the container. So I'll do that, just uh, cut it. And I'm gonna paste it right up here, like that, and uh, press save. And let's have a look at this now. Okay, that's a bit better. We've got this stretch all the way across for the background, but these links, I don't really wanna scoot them right over to the left over here. I'd like the links to line up with this content right here. So we can do that as well. All we need to do is, I'm gonna get rid of that rule there, height 200, because that's gonna target the container. And then I'm gonna make a div here with a class of container. And I'm gonna put that around the UL like so. And the reason I'm just putting it around the UL and not the nav is because the nav is what is stretching the whole thing, if I just make this bigger, the whole background, the gray, all the way across. And then the container right here is the thing that's keeping this UL, all the links within that central column, okay? So let me just get rid of that blue line. And now you can see, still one thing I wanna sort, and that's this little space here and this little space here. That's down to a style I've done previously, this margin right here. So I'm gonna get rid of that as well. And save it. And now, if we take a look at this, there we go, pretty cool. So that is our navigation right there. Now there's a couple of more things that we can do to this by adding some additional classes. Now, on some websites, they have the navbar right at the bottom and it stays there all the time. So we can do this, we can say navbar hyphen fixed hyphen bottom, all right? And now this web, uh, this uh, navbar is always gonna appear at the bottom. What I'm gonna do is just paste in a load of different content. I think what I'll do is just grab those two, just so we've got enough content to scroll down the page. There we go, that'll do. Okay, now, when we scroll down the page, no, we still can't do it, can we? Let's uh, let's put some more in. Okay, save that. Okay, now when we scroll down the page, the navbar is always at the bottom, okay? One thing you might wanna look out for is when I scroll right to the bottom, this last bit of content is still hidden. So we might wanna give our container at the bottom some padding so that the content ends roughly around here. So I'll do that now. 
Um, what I'll do is jump up here and I'll go style. You normally do this in your CSS. I'm just doing it in line so it's quicker. I'll do padding bottom. And I'll just say 60 pixels, something like that. And uh, zoom this open again. This time when we go to the bottom, we're getting all of the content. It's not cutting off because we're moving it up 60 pixels. So we're making room for this at the bottom so it's not hiding anything. Okay, so that's the nav bar fixed to the bottom. We can also fix it to the top if we like by just replacing this with top save that and view it again and once again we have the same problem i'm just gonna not focus on that so we can see we have the same problem in that this top element is being hidden by the nav bar so again if you do this as you scroll down you can see it's all going behind that and it's staying in the same position but if we do this then what we need to do is apply some padding at the top of the container so that it's not hidden behind here so we'll do that now We'll change this to padding top and save that. View it again, and this time it works. Pretty cool, right? All right then, so that is just about it for nav bars, guys. And like I say, I know there's quite a lot of different ways we can do nav bars uh, and ULs. It's just a case of looking at the documentation when we need to, depending on what you want, all right? So if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to throw those down below. Otherwise, guys, I will see you in the very next video.